I'm Raj Kumar here in Berlin, standing in front of a somewhat odd looking structure. This is actually an air inflatable building. It looks like a balloon and it's been set up as a refugee center. This is actually the first of its kind. It's very close to the government office where people would go to get their asylum paperwork dealt with. And uh, it was originally set up about a year ago for those who would be standing in a long line and didn't make it in, didn't get their paperwork. This is a place they could come and spend the night before going back to that government office or maybe spend the weekend. Since then, as more and more refugees have been coming, it's a place people are spending more, more time. So uh, there are people inside this building who have been living here for weeks, sometimes for months. And uh, actually this type of building has become quite popular as a solution to the growing refugee crisis in Germany. So there are now some 30 of these around the country and apparently more to come according to the director of this center. He tells me that the advantages of this building are that it's relatively quick to set up. This particular one took six weeks. That includes the plumbing and the electricity and the internet. Um, it's pretty well designed inside. People live in, in small cabins. There are washing machines. Uh, I was just in there since it's morning and seeing people eating breakfast. There's a small library. There are places where kids are coloring and painting, lots of activities. It seems well designed, well structured. And for communities around Germany that are looking for a solution to an influx of, of refugees, these kinds of buildings have become uh, an interesting place to, to start uh, trying to address the problem, in part because they're easy to cite. This is on a, in a park. We're surrounded by trees and soccer fields and tennis courts. Um, but really, it does kind of underline the strangeness of this, this sort of structure, the way it looks, underlines the strange situation that we're in. Some 294 people in this particular center, place from places like Syria and Afghanistan. I just spoke to a few from Pakistan who made an arduous journey through Iran and Turkey and crossed the water into Greece and made their way here. And for them, this is, in a sense, the end of the road. They've, they've finished that journey. They're now safe, and they have access to some of the basic services they need. But in another sense, it's just the beginning of another challenging journey um, as they learn to integrate into society here. There are German classes in this particular center, and uh, people are coming and going, trying to, trying to figure out what life will be like for them in Germany. There's a sense of hope, and there's a lot of good work being done here, but there's also a sense that this it's just the beginning of uh, a much bigger challenge for these refugees and perhaps for many, many more to come.